Look, look at the duck. Look. Look at that. Quack, quack. Can you say quack, quack? Wow. You want to read a book? about done with their classes. We're going back to Meter. Um, he does really good and he's getting better at the zoo. He loved the penguins, but man, he wants to run around. I gotta get a leash or something, people. So, <sighs> but we had a great time, right? We had a great time? Yeah. Let's go see what we can get up to. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Olivia was just talking about what she was talking about in her class, which was awesome. <laughs> I was just saying that we had such a, I felt really strong this morning when I woke up, that we had such, have such a unique opportunity today. I just feel like so much of like, you know, whether it's the news or on Facebook or Twitter or blogs, that we've just resorted to using our words as our weapon. Um, to one another, to the administration and whatever. And regardless of what you feel about all those things, we have just such a unique opportunity today to lay our weapons down and to really celebrate the fundamental idea of what we base everything upon, regardless of how we screw up things day in and day out or politics or whatever you feel, but that the fundamental idea that we believe that people should be free, that people should be able to worship, that people should be able to live freely and, you know, that they should be, a, we should be able to just celebrate freedom today in all of its forms. And so, you know, that was my big challenge to my group today. I was like, we just have, and for Soul Cycle, everything we do in that room is about unity. It's about we ride together on the same foot. It's all about like rhythm and feeling, you know, together the journey of like the workout and whatever. And so we already practiced that idea, but today it was about acknowledging that idea. And then, of course, I talked about, you know, all the people, well, not all the people, but, um, Ben's dad, who was in the army, um, my both of my grandfathers, who were one was in the navy, one was a marine. My cousin was a marine. I like said all of their names out loud, and I wrote for all of them that they those those men gave of their lives so that we can ride in a civil cycle class in a free country. Like there's something that's really profound and powerful about that, and I feel like so much of that has gotten lost recent as of late. And and I know there you go through times of strife and times of 
you know, rest and whatever, and we're just not in one of those times right now, which is totally fine, but that I just, you know, was really trying to encourage my riders to really think about, think about just being free and celebrating each other. And, good. Um, and it was good, people were really into it. So, That's awesome. You know, lay down your weapons today. Lay down your weapons, I love it. Well, we've got a, also a sleeping little boy. We had a good time. We went to the park. We went to this Alice in Wonderland. We went to everywhere. And he wanted to walk everywhere. So he is tired. So what we're trying to do is we're going to get get some food. But I said, let's just drop Mom and Harper off and see if Harper will stay asleep. That's our best bet. Because he needs a good nap to enjoy the rest of the day. Really? And if he's going to try to see any fireworks or anything tonight. Mm. He's gonna have to need a long nap. So hopefully, especially like maybe 30 minutes at the most, 20, 30 minutes. So maybe if we can get him up and get him in the bed. So anyway, happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Yeah, you guys will see this the day after, so I hope you had a good one. And yeah. yeah. Well, first thing we'll say is happy birthday to Belle. It's her 11th birthday oh, on the July 4th. Girl happy birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to Belle in the comment Happy section. Happy birthday, sweet girl. Oh. Uh -huh. And then second of all, we are having obviously a treat day. Um, treat, 4th of July. And 4th of July. So we went to Brooklyn Bagel, which is one of our favorite places here in Queens of all places. But they have USA bagels. Look at that, USA. Let's do an un unwrapping. Um, a bagel unboxing. A bagel, bagel unboxing. Oh. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, look at right that. Me. With cannoli cream cheese. Oh, hey. 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 Happy July 4th. Woo. I, of course, I also got a bagel. Mine is very boring, but it's very delicious. I got an everything bagel with scallion cream cheese and a Diet Coke. Because when I have treat days, whoa. I do like, I don't like Diet Coke as much as Ben does, but I do, every once in a while you just need a Diet Coke. Oh yeah. Whew. So, Daddy. It's delicious, all of the cannoli cream cheese is melting everywhere. Oh. Just like real. It's, it's melty. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so we're gonna have our little bagels. Harper's asleep. We're keeping our fingers crossed that he stays asleep <laughs> so that maybe daddy and mommy can take a little nap with him. Mm -hmm. It's all right if he doesn't. So, it's good. Mm -hmm. There's daddy's shorts from the hall that I was going to talk about last night. He really likes them. Although, Ben has a very big love hate relationship with drawstrings. He hates they drawstrings. Wear out. They stretch out. Ben thinks they stretch out, and it is true. Like if you have a pair of pants and you lose the drawstring or the drawstring goes inside, it really, really does stink because then your pants fall to the ground. Not so much me, but this one's pants fall down all the time. Yeah. Because I don't have any butt. He doesn't have, he got no butt. That's where my son gets it. And I really, truly, like my dad used to sit, call me that all the time. He'd be like, hey, no butt, because I really, I don't. Ha I have more of a butt as I got older, especially since I do a lot of Soul Cycle. Hey, um, I have more of a butt than I did before, but overall, the butt in this family is not <laughs> the most. <laughs> All right, we're gonna eat our bagels. Maybe take a nap. I don't know. We'll update you when we. Do something interesting. <laughs> had a fourth of July. All right, so an epic nap was had by all. It was thumbs up, so good. So I'm going to make a little smoothie for Daddy and I. Harper did it once the other day. If he wants some today, he can have it. But that being said. I was at Jamba Juice the other day in the mall, and I had what I thought was an incredibly healthy smoothie. It turned out it really wasn't very healthy, but, but it's okay because today's a treat day and I've been craving that smoothie ever since I had it. Like I feel like if I was in the mall and I just really wanted something like 
treat like, but I didn't want like a Cinnabon cinnamon roll or something like that. I don't want to waste all those calories. Like this would be pretty amazing. It was called like a strawberry surf runner. Y'all are probably like, oh yeah, we've been drinking those for years. But I had it and I loved it. And so I got all the ingredients to make it. And I just thought I'd show y'all how to make it because I made one, made them yesterday. Um because we also had some treats yesterday because tomorrow holiday's over but it they were so delicious and they tasted like exactly like the one i had so i thought i would just show you no joke like how easy it is to do and then make some yeah so all that's in it is whole strawberries frozen strawberries whole sliced peaches lemonade of your choice um, and then lime sherbet. I couldn't find lime sherbet anywhere up here. I can only find rainbow sherbet, which has lime in it. So I just added real lime juice to it to kind of give it that real zesty lime flavor and it like worked perfectly. So that's that. I, I don't even want to tell you guys exact amounts because I don't know. I just like guessed yesterday and it ended up being fine. I did more fruit then sherbet obviously but the sherbet has to be in there to kind of like make it a smoothie and then i put some of this lemonade this lemonade is very average like i was surprised i thought newman's own i was like oh it's organic like this is great and then i looked on here and it says something on the side like only contains only 15 percent real lemon juice that just seems real lame and dumb so any which of a way like next time i make this I think I would probably make my own lemonade or just put lemon water, like just make my own lemonade and use that. I think that would be good. So I'm going to make it and then I'll show you guys what it looks like and then we'll do a taste test. Sound good? Sound good. just so like limey citrusy and refreshing but sweet from the strawberries and the peaches mm-hmm daddy tastes good Harper just tried some what do you think he liked it but he's really more interested in cheddar buns Harper you just ate lunch it's good he just because he got into the what do you think daddy what are oh, your so good so refreshing I really like it it because it's like I know there's like I said there's sherbet in it there is a little bit of dairy, but to be honest, well, I think maybe you could use coconut milk, maybe, and still keep the lime juice in there. Harper. You don't need those. He got into the pantry, so he's pulling everything out and wanting to eat everything. Dang. Careful, don't fall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what you got? Are those your most favorite? He's kind. Hop, hop, hop. Good job. Bunnies. Hop, hop, bunnies. Bunnies. He wants me to open them so bad. Is it nummies in there? Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Good job. He says bop, bop, bop for hop. It's so sweet. Hop, hop, hop bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Whoa. Anyways, I think I could make this a version of this healthy. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's good. You'd have to make your own lemonade with some kind of sugar alternative which that's debatable whether it's healthy or not still use the lime juice i would use 
frozen coconut milk. I would freeze coconut, unsweetened coconut milk like into like ice cubes and still use the strawberries and peaches. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, that's what we're doing. That's a little update. Hope you guys are having a good fourth. This would be delicious by a pool or on a beach. Right? Almost the end of the 4th of July. Ooh. People are shooting off fireworks. And we don't think it's the official Macy's, Macy's fireworks. Yeah, I don't think. People are really excited about fireworks around here. I don't know about where you are. Yeah, they're very excited about their fire. Oh. Whoa. Hey, whoa. Hey. Whoa, Harperellis. So anyway, we ate at Bear Burger. It was very was... subpar. It was subpar. I feel like that place used to be amazing. It's become so big. Just was not very good. Yeah, but but it was fine. It was fine. We sat we outside. Said, yeah, that that part was lovely. Like that was nice. Just being together. Yeah. Oh, wow. that's big. Whoa. Whoa. Park. So we we're not actually gonna go down to the fireworks. We're just gonna listen to them and from see our, them. You'll be able to see from our window. Yeah, from our window you'll be able to see some of them. So that's our plan. Playground. Just lived it up 4th of July style. Right. So, Harper, did you have a good 4th of July? Ooh. Say, I didn't have any more play shorts left, so I had these pants in the um, pile to give to Goodwill. They were just like an old, from Christmas, like um, some oh, pajamas that I just cut the legs off and made shorts. Yeah. I like that. It worked fine. Well, anyway, unless we find something else interesting, we're gonna close it out here, huh, Mom? Does that sound right. good? Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July. Bye. Bye. Harper, can you say bye? Bye. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what's happening. Bye. bye.